Hello students, welcome to this lecture. We are studying class 11 computer science with Python and this is chapter 1 computer system. In this lecture, we will be studying about types of data. So as we have studied previously that any input that is coming into the CPU or the computer system comes through input devices. Now there can be different types of input devices like you have a keyboard which allows you to enter input in the form of alphabet, symbols, numbers, etc. Okay, But you have also input devices like the mouse that allow you to give instructions using a click okay, or a double click and drag and drop commands. So every input device has a different format of providing input to the computer. So different sources of information gives different format of inputs to the computer. Now it is also the responsibility of the input device to convert this different kinds of information into a format that is acceptable and understandable by the computer. Okay, so this we have studied previously also. Now coming in this in this lecture we will be studying what are the different types of data that can be input to the computer. Okay, so there are mainly three types of data the structured data, the unstructured data and the semi-structured data. So the first one structured data basically it refers to the data that is in a particular format. There has to be certain either a tabular format or a particular set of rules that are followed to store that data. So if we are talking about a tabular format then there would be certain rows, there would be certain columns. Each row would represent the same identity or same entity or same object, same kind of uh, information and there are in the tabular format columns also that represent a specific attribute of each entity. So for example, if we take a bank passbook, there are multiple columns of information in the bank passbook. First, there is the amount, the date, the type of transaction, but each row is the same entity which is describing a transaction. One column represents the date, the second column can represent the amount, the third column can represent the type. Of transaction but each column has a fixed format and structure the date would be in a particular format the amount would be in a particular format okay so structured data something that has a fixed format and it is generally uh, if, if the data is of a if of a kind where order matters then the data can be either organized in the form of ascending order or descending order so certain rules and the type, the way in which the data is laid out is important in case of structured data. Now, unstructured data is the second category of the type of data which is completely opposite to the structured data. As you can see from the name, this kind of data is not organized at all. It consists of different types of content within a single unit of data. So uh, when I say unit of data, so I mean that for example, if you have a banner, now a banner for a political party will have some text written into it, it will have certain images also and it can have a content that are of mixed variety, right? So there is no specific structure. This does not follow a certain row, columns or any particular format. It is mixed kind of content. There can be images, there can be text and different types, okay? So text, graphics, everything is present. There is no restriction on the kind of content that can be present in unstructured data. The third is the semi-structured data. Semi-structured data generally is in the form of tags or markings. So uh, just like if you see a web page or an HTML page, HTML uh, page is actually written in the form of tags, okay? Uh, hypertext markup language or the tags are also known as markings. So what does it actually mean? So uh, if we define a heading in an HTML page, then it will be defined by certain starting and ending tag. If we are starting a paragraph in a page, it will be defined by certain starting and ending tags. So there is no format in which uh, uh, the data is defined. That means it is not uh, 
compulsory that there would be five rows and each row would be containing a content or some information but every in point every information that is present in this semi structured data will be defined using a tag so when you say that like just like your book mentions that a csv file is an example of a semi structured data why is it semi structured because every comma is separating an entity a unit of information some information lies between these commas but there is no restriction that two lines of a csv file will have the same number of columns same number of entries a csv file can have a some structure in the form that every entry is separated by a comma but it is unstructured in the way that the length is may not always be fixed unless there are certain more uh, specific uh, rules imposed on it and that will generally convert it into a more structured kind of data so this was a very general topic that we covered today you just need to know that what are the three types of data and it's a more of a general awareness kind of topic so that's all for today's lecture in the upcoming lectures we'll be covering more topics that are much more related to the computer system just like um, what are compilers what are interpreters and there would be more interesting topics coming up so till then see you in the next lecture and if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and if you want that you get the notification of our upcoming videos in the future also you need to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon okay so till then mind your exam thank you